Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to the second episode of the FIFA 15 career mode Potential Stars. You guys showed yesterday's episode some amazing support. Thank you so much for that. It went down much better than I could have uh, even possibly imagined. So you guys get a big thumbs up from me for uh, for all of the support shown yesterday. If you enjoyed today's video, then of course show this one a thumbs up as well. Drop a like on it and uh, hopefully we could get close to yesterday's target as well. Now, today's two players... Uh, I had this video made before uh, I got all of the suggestions yesterday. You guys gave me loads of good suggestions as well, so next week's will be uh, will be even better. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Today's two are uh, two central midfielders that we're looking at. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of them, or both of them rather, are, uh, are out either on loan or newly transferred for the first season of FIFA 15. But for the entirety of the career mode, they will grow from uh, from strength to strength all the way through so uh, if you are starting with either of the sides that they're playing for then you're already going to get the best out of them or if uh, of course you're starting at a club and waiting to bring them in for the second season then uh, of course I highly recommend that you do you'll be able to tell from the title who one of them is I don't know which one I'm going to put in the title yet but we'll start off with uh, with a young man from Chelsea that was unfortunately injured for uh, for the majority of last season after twisting his knee in a Capital One Cup tie. You'll be able to see in just a second that that man is Marco van Ginkel. Now, he's highly, highly rated when it comes to uh, potential in real life as well. He's a really strong player. I've seen him play a few times, obviously, being a Chelsea fan, and I've been impressed with him every single time. He's gone out on loan to AC Milan this year, so he's going to be on loan for the first season in FIFA 15. As you can see on the left-hand side, his, uh, his potential this year was 76 up to 84. And I think he's going to be having the same sort of level to start off with on FIFA 15 as well. I think his base card or base stat is going to be around about the 76 mark, uh, judging by, uh, you know, beta and uh, demo stuff. So, fingers crossed he can grow a little bit more because I think he really did impress when uh, he played in a Chelsea show. Of course, he came in initially at the start of last year, so there wasn't too much known about him in the wide, uh, you know, widened media, etc. But he really impressed in his first season at Chelsea, despite being injured for the majority of the season and when he was playing on his way back to uh, to full fitness in the youth squads. He was particularly impressive there as well and has had a decent start to this season as well. And, uh, of course, now on loan out in Italy at AC Milan, where he should flourish, actually. I think he's well suited to Serie A. He's a physical player, can uh, can go forwards well and, uh, you know, be quite solid in the tackle. Not really, you know, an out-and-out -out cam or an out-and-out -out CDM. He's just an all-round central midfielder who I think can, in time, become one of the best in Europe 100% in a perhaps slightly biased way because I'm a Liverpool uh, Chelsea fan but also genuinely think that um, Marco Van Ginkel is going to be a, a very very good midfielder and I'm looking forward to him playing more and more for Chelsea over the past over the next few years hopefully he can grow and uh, you know learn his game and hone his skills even more while he's out on loan at AC Milan and we'll see what he can do next season in a Chelsea shirt but of course we'll be keeping keeping up with him uh, because of uh, you know the wonders of the internet and uh, modern technology will be able to keep up to date with ev absolutely everything that he does over in uh, in Italy thanks to uh, of course the uh, the fantastic way that uh, we see games played all around the globe now whether it's on TV or on streams online fantastic way to keep up to tabs with all of your favorite players the second player and final player we're going to look at today as you'll be able to see in just a second is another youngster from the Barclays Premier League Emre Chan or Emre Can I'm not really too sure how to pronounce it but of course he's the young Turkish centre mid that's come across from Leverkusen in Germany to play for Liverpool this season unfortunately for him he's actually become or picked up an injury in the most recent European qualifiers I think I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure uh, that Emre Chan picked up an injury playing for uh, for his country in the most recent European qualifiers this week. And uh, unfortunately for him, he's going to be out for a short while. Not a long-term injury, though, I don't believe. So uh, hopefully for Liverpool fans, he'll be back fighting fit within a few weeks or so. This year, he had a start... St a start... St oh, why can't I say that? A starting stat of 68. And uh, his potential was, uh, was around about 83. He's going to start off a lot better this year, around about the 72-73 mark, judging again by... Uh, by head-to-head -head stats on FIFA 14 and, of course, beta and demo ratings, etc., which, of course, aren't final, and we'll find out on full release what these players actually will be rated at. But he, along with Marco Van Ginkel, comes with a very, very high reputation as well as the potential to become one of the best midfielders in Europe in a in an all-round sense as well. Emre Chan is a big physical presence, should do well in the in the Premier League. He was well-suited to the to the Bundesliga at Leverkusen. He's well-suited to the Barclays Premier League as well. Of course, he's going to have to fight his way past players like Steven 
Gerrard and Jordan Henderson, who will bring the best out of him as he's growing as a professional. And I've set his uh, his potential a little bit higher this year at 85, but there's no reason why he can't hit perhaps an 86 or an 87, maybe reach the same sort of uh, mark that perhaps Luka Modric is, uh, is getting rating-wise in FIFA these days. FIFA 15 is going to be rated 87, and there's no reason why in your career mode six or seven seasons in, Emre Chan or equally Marco Van Ginkel can't be at that same sort of level. But that's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. As always, feel free to show the video a like if you enjoyed. Let me know some suggestions in the comment section down below for players you'd like me to have a look at in next week's episodes. Of course, this is coming to you every day during the week at the 1pm slot. It's filling the career mode slot on the uh, schedule. You'll be able to see the schedule in the description and on the About tab of the channel page. Let's you know exactly what and when I'm uploading from now until the end of time because uh, we're going to keep, keep the same schedule all the way throughout FIFA 15 as well. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. I most definitely am. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.